What's up guys, how are you today? In today's video we just yesterday we just left Tel Aviv city and we're just driving today on Saturday to the south of Israel. Right now we are located very close to Beersheba city and we are very close to Alumim Kibbutz. So Kibbutz in Hebrew, Kibbutz guys in Hebrew, this is kind of a community that living together in the same spot and everybody helping for everybody in the same community. Um, the history about the kibbutz is very nice to hear when you come to Israel if you want to know more information on about kibbutz Just type it on Google and you're gonna looking for more Information, but right now because the winter is going to end and the spring is just coming right now So in this time of the in this time of the year We are going to the south to see the, the red flowers. This is very popular right now around Israel This is just big big area with all of it with red flowers very nice to see you have to when you come to visit to israel in that time please make sure that you come to see those spots in israel so when jimmy told me that he come to visit israel i was like okay of course you have to visit but in addition you have to try our traditional food so during all the week we tried a bunch of different um, traditional, Sarwana, traditional Israeli food like a shawarma, like a kebab, a kube with rice and beans. It's very common in Israel. But because this is a Saturday and this is the day off in Israel right now, I just bought a jachnun. We call it jachnun. Um, this food is came from Yemen. A lot of people from Yemen love to eat it around Saturday, and usually all the Israelis love to eat this one in Saturday. It's very very tasty. I'm going to show you right now how Jachnun looks like. So we just took a very nice spot to chill. I put a carpet on the floor that I just bought last week. And we got some coffee with us. We got some food, camera of course, the drone shots to show you around guys. So it's a very good time to chill, to eat something because we are very hungry. Um, so this meal, it, I told you it's called Jachnun. Very common in Israel around Saturday. A lot of people love to make it at home. It's just very hard to make it at home. So people prefer to, to buy it sometimes. So yeah, this is exactly what we did right now. I was like, yo, Jimmy, you have to try Jachnun. So it came with a bag like this. And with a tomato sauce and spicy sauce and egg. And the Jachnun, guys. Oh my god guys you have to see so we got egg and we got the jachnun it looks like a banana but like can plastic around him yeah and it, this is so good smells pretty good so guys you're taking the jachnun i will tell you exactly how to eat it yeah taking the jachnun you can do with the egg whatever you want look the egg you smash the egg you put it with the jachnun like this then tomato sauce like that and it's super nice <laughs> so yes guys as you can see it's very common in israel to be with a coffee maker around you because when you're sometimes at the army or stuff like this or in the middle of nowhere it's always fun and a good item to take care with you. So there is a few different ways to make the best coffee. A lot of people love to talk about it in Israel. Uh, my opinion is when the coffee is very very warm so you just need to, to, to give him to relax a little bit so it's like to do exactly like this for seven times. This is what people say that this is the best. And it's not allowed that the coffee gonna like very, very like pull over. Not allowed. If you did it, you destroy the coffee. Three, four, you see? Five, six, oh my God. Seven. Now we can turn off the, the fire. Thanks, Jimmy. And we're good to go. Shabbat Shalom. 
Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. This is what we are literally say every Shabbat. It's very common to say it for people. Just during Shabbat, during a Saturday. Um, Jimmy, how are you feeling in Shabbat, bro? I actually didn't even realize that we were doing it, or I didn't even know what it was. He's like, man, he's like, actually, we're kind of celebrating Shabbat. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, we're sitting here relaxing in the field, just hanging out, drinking coffee. He goes, that is Shabbat. That's what you do. You hang out, you relax, you read coop, regenerate, get energy for the next week. So this is like kind of my Shabbat. Yeah. There are different people doing other stuff in Shabbat. We just saw a group of people um, traveling and walking here. They're religion. They're like keeping Shabbat. They're not using phone, no driving a car, um, going to a synagogue, eating food, dinner, napping. Yeah, it's really common. And yeah, right now I think we need to go for another spot because this place is very big. So, you know, we need to spend all the time outside. We just left the viewpoint that we just been right now and we just get to inside the kibbutz. This is where we're gonna spend our night because I have a friend from the army that's living here and right now she's actually living in Tel Aviv. So I told her, hey, can we stay in your house? And she said, yeah, why not? So we're literally in a very amazing spot. Hello, puppy. Just making amazing sunsets right now. Jimmy gets so much fun, bro. These are so sick, look at these. The name of this kibbutz is Kibbutz Magen. Magen in Hebrew, it's a defense. So this kibbutz is called Magen, and it's located very close to Gaza Street. And, and this place is very beautiful, and we're just getting a very beautiful sun right now. We have just arrived to an animal spot where we just saw a few kids that feeding right now. They, all the pets, they have. Jimmy, you're gonna change, uh, you're gonna do relocation to kibbutz? <laughs> Gonna be I'm going to be the next kibbutz member. Yeah. So actually a lot of people want to live in the kibbutz in Israel. It's very common because the um, to grow up in, in around the kibbutz, it's different. It's just more quiet, more peaceful. Your education, it's different. Um, if you're living here, if you grow up your kids, your children with family. So a lot of people want to be inside the kibbutz, like a member, a friend member of a kibbutz. But it's not too easy to get it. We need to do a really hard interview to get inside and yeah, it's just like this. Thank you Adi that you're giving us your space to be this night. Thank you so much. So I know a little bit what is it kibbutz because I am from Israel and in addition when I was in the camp in the United States it was a kibbutz unit. When it was uh, kids around uh, 15 years old it was a kibbutz community. So it's really common to be in kibbutz in Israel. Um, well, this apartment is uh, my friend apartment. We was together in the army, so thank you so much, Adi, that you give us your space. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that's it, guys. I think we're going to eat something because we are really hungry. We just arrived here to Magen Kibbutz. Tomorrow we're going to drive all the way to Beersheba. Jimmy need to do a COVID test and then we're going to be at the Dead Sea. Yeah, Jimmy never been in the Dead Sea. This is the spot that you're gonna flew up on the water. Very, very amazing spot. Bye-bye.